it's time for a good old studio vlog and what is good old studio vlog without studio cleanup right <laughs> it's Friday I have running nose I guess it's autumn here in Russia so but I enjoy it so much because I see the forest from my window as you remember it maybe and I can witness all shades of green turning to nothing and I really like it so it's time to clean up the studio and do some drawing Next morning. Hello guys, um, it seems that yesterday I cleaned my studio and now it was like cluttered again, so I cleaned it again and I think it's time for a long due studio tour because I don't see if it gets better at any point, so what's the point of keeping it secret from you? So I will try to tell you now um, what I have here, how I organize everything and what is my plan because not everything is kind of done done yet i'm like we live in this apartment for a year now yeah but money issues is always uh, an issue so i still need to save up some money to add up to my setup and i will tell you what i want to do and maybe you will have any advices or feedback how you do stuff and Let's see, let's get started. But first coffee, right? So to get to my studio, you kind of need to enter the living room. This is the sofa, which is uh, in this state now being like two size bed because we spent some time here because here's the PlayStation and the TV set and the clutter is there because these are like at least all the books that I read at the same time so I don't know what to do with them. Um, here's my favorite plant. Uh, this baby loves light and this is the north looking window so we never have light here. So what I have is actually this um, lamp with the UV lamp in, in it and it gives light to this one um, and I hate the color of this light because it's look it looks like death <laughs> so I, I only switch it on during the night so I won't see it 
And here you should welcome the glory of my two and a half meters work panel, which has part of it here is the computer place and part of it there is the place to do arts um, traditional way. I really want to install here the shelves for the big format art that I have because I don't have place to properly store it. And then I want to move this tower at this shelf. And here I want to have scanner or printer. So this baby will have to find a new place. Maybe I will just move it a little bit. So let's get to the computer. Like usually, of course, it's not that clean. Uh, but I really love my setup here. I have two monitors and the PC tower. And down here, um, I have some art supplies stored here. And here's the big format paper that I have. And here's the box with different like tapes, uh, knives or anything that needs to be stored, not in the open because of the kiddo. And down there is uh, the gouache set of my kid. And this is wet wipes, which are always useful. I'll try not to use them that much, but sometimes that's the only thing that helps. This is not blood, by the way. This is the ink that I spilled <laughs> at some point. This is my terabytes of hard disks. It's four of them here. One, two, three, four. Each of them is like from one terabyte to two. And they store the archive of my f photos uh, because I used to work as a photographer a lot and I still use this as to back up my video footage and my work and anything. So this is the card reader with a flashcard from the big camera. Here is this cutie squad. Um, I'm a huge fan of Moomins and I collect now the set of the to build the Moomin house and I have some heroes here and this is the ceramic mushroom guy and this is Darth Vader as you may see and this is the USSR moonwalker and the some bad car from Hot Wheels. Here everything is very simple here I have my webcam uh, the speakers and this one is really nice uh, 3d printed uh, skull bird skull still disjointed a little bit. I want to paint it and to make it a part of some like composition but for now it just sits here. This is my coffee which I need to imbibe now and the second monitor and here is my lamp and here is the mic which I record the voiceover. Here obviously I'm recording voiceover right into my camera but when I do voiceovers voiceovers I try to take care of you and use the nice technique for that. And we move to the traditional part of the table. Here I have the most gorgeous like thing on wheels by Ikea. Every artist should get this thing because this is magic. Because first of all you can move it easily, it's on the wheels, so you can take it to any part of your working space that you can. On top I have all the Pencils, brushes, palettes. Here is my color testing uh, sketchbook. I test all the materials here. So I, I stole this idea from my friend Chris. So I know which uh, materials I have. And I take this to art store now. Art supply shop. Very smart, very smart. So, <clears throat> down on this next shelf I have everything connected with paints. Uh, and inks and some gouaches are also here. So um, by the design it should be, the middle shelf should be right in the middle, but I put it this way that this one is bigger, this one is smaller. I still have comfortable time place to put out and put in different like small stuff and different paints. And I still have this place down for all the sketchbooks or notebooks that I use at the moment, they all are in process. <laughs> and I still have also place for big painting brushes. Um, yeah. Down there behind you can see my old notebook, which I still use sometimes, but it's an oldie. 
here is my the monopod the tripod with only one leg which i used when i was filming more here is my tripod standing under the table here is the acrylic paints down there is um, also everything that you need additionally like glue label maker pins whatnot and down there is different paper which you may need sometimes um, which is not white it's lots of colored paper there and some newspapers for collages and everything and down there is the sketchbooks that i finished and some of them i really want to make sketchbook tours of and here's the mighty box <laughs> uh with what's the word with cords and now to the space uh where i draw traditional art um quite often during the sketchbook tours i do it right in front of the computer but if i want to film something beautifully i do it here um the window is at closest here uh plus the wall is wide so it's the lightest corner of the whole room um it's a little bit too cluttered I will maybe do something about it here's the vintage uh, pot from my grandma and the plant and some art on the walls this is you can see this but this is the forest of pines from my son and different art that I did myself or that was done by my friends or the artists that I love here's the poster from Silver and Kaya, who are my friends and uh, art mentors and the art from Myanmar, which I brought like more than 10 years ago and here's the window seal with lots of just inspirational cutie stuff which I most probably need to clean at some point I mean like check this out, this is the golden piece of brick which was <laughs> colored in gold by my son but I think it looks gorgeous, you know golden brick can you imagine that right i colored this pumpkin white and maybe i want to do some um, ornament on it for the halloween upcoming halloween and most probably i'm gonna do it uh, here's the maneki neko from japan which my sister brought this is the lamp also with moomins again and the cloche with those dry flowers and with a beetle and I found this beetle myself in Crimea when I was a kid I mean like six, 20 years ago 25 years ago so it's pretty old beetle uh, surprisingly it survived all the time because it was stored in a little box and I've been drawing it uh, a few times I really like it and I, I'm happy that it is now on display and uh, here is the fox skull which I bought from the um, ethic uh, bone maker and below the skull we have a box also with some goblin core treasures which I actually don't know where to put <laughs> things like that are very aesthetically pleasing for me but I don't know where to put them actually so uh, this is like Sometimes I'm just taking them to hold them because they all are very uh, pleasant to touch. And sometimes I maybe will draw them. And this is the thing that was done by my friend. I really like it. That piece of coral that I brought myself, I think, from Indonesia, maybe. I don't remember. It's ink, of course. Uh, this is my experiment with coloring silk by with natural materials. This was, I believe, turmeric, maybe. I use these things also sometimes to make pictures of my work for Instagram for flat lace because all of this looks pretty cute and nice. And this is the gift from my friend a long time ago. This is Gandalf. I always thought of him as Gandalf, so this is some wizard. And my friend lives in America and he brought this one to me, I think when I was in like in ninth grade or something. Uh, and I still have it. I like him. I don't know. Yeah, so lots of things like that. Some so vintage stuff, which is... I don't know what's that, <laughs> actually. And this is also what was brought to me from Europe. 
Uh, it is supposed to be some kind of a print, but it's not the mirror, so it maybe was a part of the, some furniture, like maybe, I don't know, I have no idea what is that. I would love to know, actually. I really love the letters here. My friend brought it to me because of the letters, because I was very much into calligraphy and lettering back then. So yeah, this is onyx uh, stone that I bought in Switzerland, weirdly enough, uh, in the year when I went to Zurich and I met there my dear friend Diana Tula, who is watching this video most probably. So Diana, I still have this stone from 2012 or what was the year when we met? Can you imagine that? Uh, this one is also from Myanmar. Uh, we bought it with my ex-boyfriend. Well, we bought two of them, one for, for me, one for him. And this is like Buddha who is supposed to attract money into your life. And I've been holding it in my uh, wallet for a long time. Now we don't use wallets here in this part. So I don't want to lose it. So it lives in this treasure box of mine. We bought it somewhere in the mountains in a like remote village. Um, I like him. This is a very old piece. I think we did it with my mom and it's like part of the rune set. I was very much into runes when I was a kid and I love fantasy and everything. And we cut rune shapes and I had the rune set. I don't know where is it. Most probably my mom still have it. But we found this one and you are supposed to like to to make those runes divinations. <laughs> this one was empty. I think it was extra or something. And I still have it. So this piece of wood is most probably something like 30 years ago. <laughs> 30 years old. I don't know. I like the sound of the wood. Here's also my calligraphy on the stone. Which I use sometimes for flat lays. And these ones are for flat lays as well. They are vintage. All three of them are vintage. One, two, three. Three of them, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I love small pieces like that. Stones, of course, I love stones. And here, I have stones from Kaliningrad from the latest trip. And here is the handmade um, thing, which was supposed to be small one to drink something like sake or something or tea but it appears to be too small after firing so my friend gave it to me and it's perfect for holding ink when I paint it will dry by the way I need to use it <laughs> as soon as possible I would like it it's um, handmade by my friend so it brings extra meaning to me so as you may see I hold uh, very much of love and attention to small things, to old things, to things that matter to me, which connects me to my like childhood and my past. So yeah, sometimes I think it's very cluttered. Sometimes I really wish to not need all these things. Sometimes they piss me off. So I try to keep them in some boxes, but I don't have a heart for throwing them away. Um, I mean, like, uh, how can one, right, throw away this thing? I cut it when I was maybe like eight years old or something. So it's, on the other hand, it makes no sense. So um, if you tell me in comments, what's your relation to things like that? Uh, do you ha keep attachment or you don't keep attachment? How you deal with it? I'll be extra, I'll, I will be extra thankful uh, because I really want to have more space for my soul, for me, for my body, for my art. And I don't like to feel cluttered, but at the same time, looking at these things, touching them, makes me feel very content. So I'm always in between. This is what I don't like about myself, actually. <laughs> Um, and I envy people some who are like, I don't need that, or I need that, and they are like adamant clear about this, about anything. I'm not. <laughs> it's, 
and brings up the question of what do I really want from myself, from my art, but yeah, I don't want to go deep now because this is the studio tour, right? And I will show you now in the end uh, the view from my balcony and I see the forest right from where I sit and this makes me extremely happy because as I've mentioned many times, Moscow is like 15 million people. We have many buildings, many people here, many cars, so it's crazy. It's crazy here sometimes and I have a chance to see the window from from forest from my window. It's just joy. So let me show it to you. Now it's the end of September. What's the today? It's 25th of September and the forest is slowly getting to this beautiful stage of being yellow and then losing the leaves and it's amazing time. I really love autumn, by the way. Okay, let's have a peek from my window. 